Alright guys, I'm back with The Walking Dead. I don't know what to think about this group. It's just... <laughs> they all just seem like they're broken and lost. Like, jeez. It's been... It's, what, 16 months after the thing with Omid, plus the three months uh, in the first season. We're looking at your, a full year to two years, and they just... They, they don't have any of this stuff worked out by now? Like, holy cow. And now the pregnant lady's husband is like, well, let's send the, the well, I don't know how old Clem is, a 10-year-old into the building to find food for my pregnant wife. Like, can you say I'm useless any more than that? <laughs> but <laughs> let's, let's go. This guy, what's his name? Alvin. Alvin, yeah. Real winner here. And, and her here, what, what's what's her name? I, I haven't even been making mental notes of their names because one, they die so fast. And two, they almost are so worthless. The only one I like is Luke and Pete, and Pete died in the first episode. <laughs> so, I don't know. And this Nick dude, he's worthless too. They're all worthless. What do you have to say? I had to kill my mom. Sounds weird when I say it out loud, huh? Luke always used to push me. I never wanted to go into business with him. I remember when he sold me on his big plan. Some fucking plan. Case of beer in, he just said, Nick, we're burning daylight. And that was that. After six months, we were flat broke. I didn't care. We were having fun. I wish I was like him. I wish I could just keep moving all the time. I'm just not built like that. Well, that's gonna hold you back in this world. Right now. Look, he's becoming a danger to the group. <laughs> Who was that guy? I swear. It looked like he was holding you guys up. I figured he was with Carver. He could have been anybody. Right, we don't know. How do we know he wasn't with Carver anyway? If Alvin is in front of me, he takes that shot. What a fucking mess. Maybe I am losing it. I don't know anymore. God, I'm hungry. What time is it anyway? Damn. Damn. What's wrong? I left my watch back at the cabin. It was Pete's. He gave it to me. Oh, I should have taken the so watch. You know what? I'm gonna go talk to them. I just thought it was wrong to steal. Dang it, I should have nabbed that watch. Rebecca, are you okay? I'm alright. I just need a little rest. And some food. Alvin. Calm down, Alvin. It's not even yours, buddy. Let's check out this shack. Yeah, I mean, the guy could have been an evil dude. We don't know. He could be... He could be just jumping people, and that's why he's got so much food. I think the state of the world is people are rarely, uh... Rarely good people. I just see empty cans everywhere. It's dead. I guess he slept here. I want this. Feels pretty good. One negative about taking that, though, is 
know if you guys saw that, there's initials carved on it. It said, what, MW or something? So watch somebody say, oh, that's that's my brother's knife. Where would you get that? Or whatever. Then we'll be in a whole nother heap of trouble. The wizard's gambit. Man, and I thought we had a bed. Look at this dump. Guess he did have food. Man, fuck Nick. Nick's lost a lot of his people, that's for sure. But that doesn't give him any excuse to start shooting up strangers. He was trying to help us. Yeah, and someone died. I ain't no judge, but that's straight up murder in my book. Oh, I mean, calm down. You ever known anyone to do a thing like that? Yeah. Lots of people. Lots of people. It happens all the time now. It's fucking crazy. Pardon my French. That's funny. She looks just like you. Hey, Clem, there's not a lot of food here, and Rebecca, well, she's eating for two. You think we can keep this just between us? I hate to even say it, you know, but... And I'd never go against the group. But I've got to put Beck and the baby first. I won't lie for you. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have put you in that position. It's a shame. Nick was a good guy. He's still a good guy. He's just losing it. God knows we're not perfect. Hell, I'm glad you're with us, Clementine. The hell is that? We got a problem here. Yeah, we saw it. All right, we're heading up. Yeah, I ain't lying for him. Half these people, I think, are shady. Let's just say I'm not feeling very included. <laughs> And your wife can't even tell you she doesn't even know who's the baby is, who, whose baby it is. We have to be careful. Careful? We've been on the road for five days. My back is done being careful. Doesn't look like anybody's home. Damn. Nail down tight. I'll check around front. I'll go with you. Be good to know if anybody's actually back there. You'll probably get a better view from up top. You'd have an easier time getting up there. You feel like taking a look? That'd be just like climbing a treehouse. Yeah, just a, a really tall treehouse. What am I? A monkey? Hey, you said it, not me. It's like a full on a human size an adult size ladder. Just take it slow. And I'll catch you if you fall. Probably. Just like you threw me on the ground. Got a good grip? Yeah. When I was a kid, we used to jump rooftops downtown. Now that was fun. Well, that sounds stupid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was. The trick was not to look down though. <laughs> oh, 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 you're fine. You're fine. Look at me, okay? You're you're fine. All right, just just slow down. Just for a second, okay? Keep your voice down. But you just yelled at me. Shut up. Shut up. Look at this crow just chilling with us. What's up, Crow? I made it. Bye, Crow. You see anything? I can see the bridge. Look at that. Wait, I see something. What is it? A light. But wait, there's another. Luke. Luke. 
Yeah, there's something going on with this group. Why the heck would this, whoever this, this Carver dude, why would he be following them so... Yeah, with such vigor or whatever. Listen, everyone, just stay calm. Who are you? Are you trying to rob us? Excuse me, honey, but do I look like a fucking thief? Everyone calm down. Hey, man, you calm the fuck down. Sarah, get behind just me. Just tell us who you are. We ain't here to rob nobody. Put the gun down, fuck man. Fuck that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Please, just do what he says. Whoa. Oh, he made it. I'll take that as a yes. These people with you. I don't trust them, no. We can talk inside. Great. I just started dinner. It's gonna storm soon. Please, come in. Are we gonna discuss the lights? Kenny and Sarita have been staying with us for several weeks. It used to be a ski lodge, obviously, so we have plenty of food. And uh, believe it or not, we still get some power from that wind turbine out front. We tend to keep most of the lights off at night to avoid drawing attention. But after we found this stuff in storage, we couldn't resist making an exception. What's funny? Oh, nothing, Walt. Walter here's one smart some bitch. Makes a mean can of beans, too. Well, why don't you two catch up while I get some dinner started? Please, make yourselves at home. You can leave your things over there. The hell we will. Yeah, I'm holding on to my rifle. Thanks. You're our guests here. There's no need to worry. Tell him to put his gun down then. Kenny? Will you vouch for these people, Clem? Ah, uh, no. If you tell me they're good, then I'm good. Us. You were the one waving a gun around, man. We're cool, okay? Hey. Ah. Uh, we're cool. Clementine. Uh, cool. I guess. Dad, look, a Christmas tree. Not now, Sarah. Isn't it great? We found it all in storage. It's amazing. Good. If you'll all follow me, I'll show you where you can sleep. Oh, that wasn't a mistake. Still wearing this dirty old thing, huh? You know, I half expected to see Lee walk up next to you. You guys were like two peas in a pod. Oh, shit, I didn't mean to... It's just hard not to think about it, you know? He saved me. I knew it. I knew he would. That guy had a fire in him, sure as shit. Hell. He was a hell of a guy. When my son, well, he took care of him. I'll never forget that. So, 
Where'd you end up? I was with Krista and Omid. Omid, well, Krista and I were together for a while, but these guys caught us. She's gone. Sounds like it ain't been easy for you. I'm sorry, darling. I wish I could have found you sooner. But everything's gonna be fine now. Where have you been? Oh, hell. All over after Savannah. How did you get out of there? Krista got in a hell of a mess. I gave her a hand and then it got messier. For a minute there, it wasn't looking too good for old Kenny. Long story short, I got lucky. Real lucky. Spent a long time alone after that. It, uh... And then I met Sarita, thank God. Gosh, it's great to have you back. You two catching up? Clem, this is my girl, Sarita. Ain't she beautiful? Nice to meet you, Clementine. Hey, Walt, where's Matthew? He's still out there rooting around? Of course he is. Well, I'll start dinner. Carlos, right? Mind if I steal your daughter for a secret mission? Stay in sight, sweetie. Can we do anything to help? Could use a hand outside. We got a lot of supplies to bring in before that storm hits. Sure. Clem, why don't you help Walt with dinner? I, we kind of got to bring up the fact that people are following us in the woods with flashlights. Hey, well, Clementine. we can just gloss over that, I guess. Yeah, thanks. Excellent. Want to help me prepare a little dinner? So how do you know Kenny? He and Sarita have been a huge help. Matthew and I barely knew what to do around here the first week. We're old friends. I met him after it happened. When he was with Lee? Yeah, he only told us a little. Connecting with people is so important. I don't know what I'd do without Matthew. Gosh, you remind me of my students. I can't imagine what it's like growing up in the middle of all this. It hasn't been easy. I can imagine. It's hard enough as an adult. Mmm. Almost done. Would you do me the honor of tasting the first course, madam? What is this? Le Walter Surprise. An autumnal legume salad with a peach roux. It's peaches and beans. That's all we got. <laughs> huh. Striking resemblance. Why does everybody say I look like a peaches anyway, girl? I'll take it from here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No oven mitts or anything, man. You're you're pretty baller. Might be fine. Striking resemblance. Cousin Jared's concert, October thirteenth, nineteen ninety eight. Crazy. Let's not put any music on because we got people coming up the mountain for us. We want to be able to hear them coming. I really want to tell somebody about that. Reminds me of school. All right, guys, we're going to end this one here. Good spot to stop. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. See you in the next one. Kazmir out.